Adventures. Greetings all Chook here from Chooks Outdoor Adventures. Well, I want to give Smith & Wesson another chance. I like the company and I wanted to apologize to them for saying that their employees uh, shit in cat litter boxes. I, I was just being provocative, but there is quality control issues with the M&P 10 series. I mean, that's well known, just like other companies have quality control series too. But here we have the Performance Center M&P 10, and I do have to say that of all the new Striker Fire pistols, everyone on the market, Springfield, Sig, Lock, all of them, this has the best ergos I've ever felt on a 10 millimeter. Just the, the stippling on the grip, the trigger, the grip angle, just the way it feels in the hand, this blows everything else away. And they did such a cool job with the ported slide and barrel, look at that. You're getting a one in 10 twist and it's got a 5.6 inch barrel with ports in the barrel itself and then in the slide. So you've just got a smooth shooting 10 millimeter. They've got the enhanced performance center tuning trigger, the M&P trigger that they've improved on. And I love this blade right there. Just everything about the trigger feels very smooth. Uh, they just did such a great job with this thing. The tough stainless steel chassis, Armor Knight finish, 18 degree grip angles, what makes it so comfortable to shoot and just feel so amazing. So uh, my buddy hasn't had any problems with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot some range ammo through it. And I am going to shoot 10 rounds of good old Underwood 200 grain hard cast through it. And we're going to see how it does. It does have rifling. It's not a polygonal barrel, so can shoot hard cast, which it's coated anyways, but the hard cast is usually what gives some of these striker fire pistols problems. So we're going to test it out today and I want it to succeed. I want Smith & Wesson to succeed. So it's going to be a 15 below again, at least we're going to test it out. All right. I have high hopes for the Smith & Wesson Performance Center MNP 10 uh, we've already been warming up with it, no issues. So I'm gonna shoot some S&B range ammo, and then we're gonna do 10 rounds of Underwood 200 grain hard cast and see how it does. So first, let's do the range ammo. Okay, does it close on its own? I'm always interested. Oh, okay. All right. I hit steel the first time. This is probably the best 10 I've shot. Oh, got a failure to feed. It might be the Sesame because it was just doing fine. All right. I'm hitting steel at 17 yards. Okay, now this will be the true test if we can do 10 rounds of hard cast, the black lipstick coated high tech hard cast from Underwood. Um, it's 24 below zero. Um, it's really weak SMB ammo, so I'm going to give it those malfunctions. And we've never seen it malfunction before. I really think it's the temperature and that weak SMB. This, to me, will be the true test, which is 10 rounds of hard-hitting Underwood 200 grain black-coated hard cast. Come on, M&P 10, let's see you, see you do it. Ooh, I hit steel, man, it's really rocking it. I'm giving this two thumbs up. I think this is a solid 10 millimeter. It's 24 degrees below zero. And it just did the Underwood hard cast fine. I think it's a great 10 millimeter. So I was wrong about the Smith & Wesson M&P 10s. 
We're gonna shoot it some more while we're out here, but it's been running great. It's got the ports on the barrel and that slide. It's a great 10 millimeter. All right, we've put some more rounds through the 10 and it's, it's working fine. I was having my thumb way up on the slide and I might've been uh, slowing it down some. So I'm gonna have it lower and see how it does. Man, this is accurate. All right, it's running like a champ now. Let's run another mag through it and see how it does. All right, one more mag through the M&P 10. Uh, let's see how she does. Things running like a champ now. I say it's a great 10 millimeter. It's because it's got the performance center tuning. I'm giving it two thumbs up. Thanks, guys.